Hi, what's up everybody? My name is Russ. My website is rwgresearch.com. So, in the near future, and I'm not sure exactly when, and I'm not sure where, but I'm going to be moving. That's pretty exciting. But I have so much stuff to figure out what to do with. It's crazy. So, I told you guys that I would post a video on my workshop and just show you everything I've collected over the last... I don't know, I'm 28 now, 28 years of my life. So I'm going to give you a pretty detailed walkthrough of all the different things that I've got. Okay, just to just show you how much stuff you can collect if you find the right dumpsters. Literally, most of the stuff's all recycled or found on the side of the road or whatever. Um, I will take a tour of the garage lab. Uh, there's lots of stuff out there too, so bear with me. It's going to take a while. Um, I'm going to walk through here and just literally show you everything that I've got. Uh, and just give you an idea of the kind of things that I've got at my hands anytime I need it, uh, just by collecting things over the years. So let's get started. First of all, I'll just do a quick walkthrough, and then we'll go to details. So my current shop is probably, oh, I don't know, that looks like a good 25 to 30 feet by about 15 feet. This is just space down here. Um, I am running my 3D printer, so just ignore the noise, making a little test piece little gyro sphere micro size I have no idea what's going to work um so currently I just have stuff plastered all over my walls um, when I got this house this bench and this was already here so that was really nice um, some of the little racks were already here uh, this wall was just blank everything I put up on this wall some of it pretty haggardly uh, there was a lot of stuff on this wall that it took off these little shells and everything were already built. Pretty cool, just a nice little storage area. The guy who uh, originally put all this stuff in the house, he was a carpenter or something. And then in this other room, you can see it's all really nicely finished um, with, it's hard to see, there we go, with wood all the way around here, like built in seating. Kind of, kind of just really cool. So the guy was really into the art and stuff. I love this wall. It's literally just a, a map that he posted on the wall pretty cool I might have to use some something similar as wallpaper it's kinda neat um, anyway and then there's like a this bench here or a bar or whatever you want to call it this actually moves I just use it it's just a collection of junk right now um, so yeah some of the coils and stuff that I've always been working on I leave it out so I can walk past them and remind me of things I still have to do other people that come visit can see them as well so, um, I do have, I do have some guns. <laughs> These are my grandpa's. He handed them down to me. This is a Winchester. I forgot the model. Seven nineteen. What was it? Eighteen seventy-nine. Oh, where is it at? There we go. Yeah, eighteen ninety-seven. Pretty cool. It's a pump-action shotgun. It holds six shells, I believe. Pretty neat little gun. And he gave me a twenty-two. Now he passed away a while back, but those are things I need to take better care of put them somewhere else I don't have any ammunition for them so I let them sit out nobody touches them um, alright so as you can see I've just got all sorts of things uh, Russell Martin actually sent me these gloves and a few other things for a Christmas gift that was very nice of him um, uh, just a random tape and all just you know you just look around I just got a lot of different stuff um, a lot of my tools are in my tool bag out in the garage this is like my collection of things that I just haven't ever found a good place for, so they end up here. Like the box of different types of batteries. Check this out. This was the very first iPhone battery backup system that I built. <laughs> Charge it there and Velcro it on the back of your iPod. Or, uh, matter of fact, the iPod. The iPod's still here. It's even still got the Velcro on it. Boom, Velcro that on there, now you've got extra battery life. And you may be asking, what's in the battery? Or what is the battery? It's three cell phone batteries. <laughs> I built that such a long time ago. Uh, anyway, so continuing on, just a bunch of random stuff. Tools, things, just there's all sorts of stuff down here. Um, the cell, I still need to do a... Uh, a video on this from Tom and Jess. They gave me that at the uh, Global BEM conference. I got. I was going to do a demo on this. I just haven't had time. Kind of share what they're doing. 
There's a few other things. Um, I just got so much different stuff, man. It's crazy. I got a couple of backups. I just got a couple of more um, backups because I'm running out of space on my original backups. These are three terabytes. I've actually got four three terabyte hard drives and I've managed to fill up two of them with just video. Some of my CDs I need to put in a better place. Um, check this stuff out. Oh, this is pretty cool. A gentleman gave me this. This is actually, I'm not going to be open it one hand. This is actually a hand tachometer. pretty cool you just hold it like this and put it on whatever spinning and it will uh, it will actually give you the RPM <laughs> that's kinda unique still got the instructions extra bar for extension maybe anyway just a couple collectibles <laughs> here's a cell that I made out of copper just for test a long time ago oh man dude I've got so much stuff this is my cabinet full of dangerous things Probably shouldn't be that low to the ground, but kids never get in my stuff. I don't put anything down there. Here's my bench, or my, uh, got my US, um, APS recycled battery backup I've been using for a very long time. That has all of my computer equipment and my 3D printer on it. Actually, my 3D printer's got a separate one. I used to have a, there's my cord. I used to have a cord running over there. Couple of meters where I keep all my meters, a bunch of different cheapies, some recycled, some junk, some don't work. Um, sandpaper and stuff. Um, check out this cool box. I bought this at an auction. This is full of nothing but very old relay parts. <laughs> Why? Why I it's like a assembly line for the re for relays. Why I kept this box, I don't know. Yeah, so much stuff. Like, I don't know, you could scrape off the nickel. But anyway, that's a random box I bought at, a, at an auction for like a couple bucks, maybe. I don't even remember. That was a very long time ago. Norbert Yellick, my good buddy, he's the one who had that stuff. He was lived to like 97 years old, man. I got a big, giant light bulb from him. I got. I gotta find it. It's probably here somewhere. Now check this out. I told you the guy the guy that made this had this place. I did a bunch of really cool stuff. So the bottom the bottom latches. I don't know man. It's kinda cool. Anyway. Um what else do I got? I got so much stuff. So much random stuff have a lot of stuff and really I never really got to put anything in these drawers this is my recycle pile this is where everything I don't have time to organize goes I've just been piling it up I need to go through this stuff and take out the good and throw the bad I really don't think there's much battery charger I don't think there's much in these drawers um, my neighbor gave me all these bins and I've been attempting to fill them up it's taken me a while I got my good soldering iron Oscilloscope signal generator up here. Um, here's the very first one of the very first test cells I ever made. A long time ago. Yeah, so this is a couple of tools I got for my work. They gave me really awesome. Last year, the Christmas, they gave me that one, and this year, they gave me this one. That was very nice of them. They gave everybody in maintenance one blessed to have that one just a little impact and that one's the drill pretty nice um so yeah i didn't really give you a walkthrough we will go through some of this stuff this is going to be a long video huh holy moly this is going to be a long video um i'll try to make this a little quicker because i do have so much stuff this is my recyclables um it's going to be hard to see because my my light here, it's, well, I took the bulbs out. If I zoom in, it should maybe brighten it up a little bit. Let's see if I can turn this light on. Oh, it ain't gonna let me. Anyway, a uh, bunch of just recycled magnet wire. Lots of different projects in here. Um, most of it's just all recycled magnet wire, different coils, and I just, I have so much stuff. Look at these magnets from hard drives that I 
been collecting all the exact same ones I was going to build a... Actually, I did build it. It's right here. I just didn't finish it because I put two arms on here and that was it. I think I called that the... I don't even remember what I called that thing. Lens Lawless Generator or something. Um, this is my, like, projects shelf where all of my actual, like... I try to keep it out so I can get to them easy. There's a couple of old uh, frequency drives. It's got big old... Um, uh, what are they? Some some I forgot the type of uh, switching transistors that are on there. Anyway, oh man, I got just so much stuff, and uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it all yet. I mean, I'm gonna keep it, but I don't know where I'm gonna put it. I asked my dad to get me a uh, angle grinder for Christmas, so he did. That was very nice of him. Uh, these are boxes of things I haven't organized yet. So much stuff, guys. I just collect so much stuff. All these shafts and things I've got to build. Took apart a copier machine. This was a an envelope machine from that runs and puts stamps on the envelopes. I got this end mill grinder from work, and I spent a very long time fixing it up. I need to make a video of it. This is actually an air bearing. Um, I'll have to make a video of that. It's pretty cool. I spent a while fixing that one up, though. It was a rust bucket when I got it. These are all used to be good batteries. I'm going to bring all these to recycle because half of them are probably dead by now. They've been sitting too long. They all came out of old UPSs though. Um, I do have a cabinet back here. It's just got some some very random tools in it. You can't even see. Um, toolbox, a few other odds and ends, a couple boxes of nuts and bolts down there. Stuff I just need to clean up. Uh, so, yeah, we'll just start in the end here. I got a mini, mini lathe I bought for a uh, coin ring business. I'll have to show that to you guys sometime. Never really took off. <laughs> a little drill press I got a couple years back for Christmas. Or I bought it for myself for Christmas. I can't remember. Um, so I literally have just a bunch of different hardware here. A lot of it's all recycled stuff. I wish my light was working right now. Um, just odds and ends and this and that hose clamps and just stuff I've collected some metric like here's there's a good drawer of a bunch of metric stuff that I took out uh, good good set this is a nice set of standards that I took out of a machine it all came out of like one big machine I just I try to keep everything a bunch of uh, this is my little hardware drawer it has all my little little hardware in it if you ever need something random I usually have it another hardware, little hardware drawer just a whole bunch of stuff in here um, up here I got the same thing same thing just more little pieces and parts I got a lot of uh, this is actually a really old check out these square nuts this was my uncle my uncle's uncle Austin's he's he's been gone for a while now um, this is a uh, a thing I made for running a, a treadmill motor. It's literally the, the guts of a treadmill. It's going to use that for something really fun, but I, I haven't had time. Here's um, a collection of my VFD drives. These are all the different VFD drives that I've collected over the years. Some are good, some are bad, some are just for parts. An old PLC rack. It's a cheapie there. Um, a couple more frequency drives. Some of these are, like I said, some of these are good. Like this one's a 15 horsepower. That's a big old sucker. I think that one's a good drive. The one behind it, I think, is good too. See, there's two of them sitting up here. Just stuff I've collected, man. Power supplies, power supplies. This is my box of odds and ends power supplies. These are all good working, different, different power supplies. And here I got some different. Power supplies, power supplies, power supplies. These are all power supplies. This is a bucket full of power supplies. Power supplies, power supplies, power supplies. Wall warts. Does ever need a wall wart? I got a few of them. And these are all full of wall warts. <laughs> some are good, some are bad. Um, I'll just start low and go high on this shelf. Um, random actual parts. I got a bunch. I'm. I. You guys saw my CD shooter. There's my bucket of CDs. Um, here's my bucket of 
of AC motors. Lots of good AC motors in here. Like I said, last last Christmas I spent almost three months just organizing this basement. All this stuff was in cardboard boxes, and I got a super freaking awesome deal on these crates. So I bought a bunch of them. Pumps, fans, and blowers. Um, a couple of full units down here of just electronic components and units out of big equipment. We already saw this shelf. Let's go to the next shelf. Really need two hands for this. Drill, drill parts. This is my random I.O. box. Small lights and things. Um, what's that? Car adapters. Here's my Allen, here's my bucket of Allen Bradley push buttons I've collected over the years. Some of these are fantastic. Some of them are junk. Um, my CB radio Papa gave me. I need to put that somewhere else. I can't even shut it now. Oh, stay. Don't fall. Uh, these are stepper, stepper motors, servo motors. Um, uh, what's this? Melis miscellaneous controllers. Look at this box of controllers. Some awesome counters right there. These are actually, like, amazing high-speed counters. I, uh, I will be, uh, using these in the future. Those will count pulses from encoders that are, like, extremely, like, quad pulses and stuff. High resolution stuff. What's this? Oh, magnet wire. Told you I had magnet wire. Here's my bucket of contactors. See them all? Yeah, I got lucky with this. We repaired a bunch in a cabinet and uh, replaced them, and I pretty much snatched them all. They're gonna throw them away. Voltzilla parts for my electric motorcycle, the vacuum tubes, uh, flybacks and transformers skateboard stuff, battery chargers, cameras, random lights and bits and pieces, light bulbs. Here's my bucket of DC motors. I have quite a bit of DC motors right there. Capacitance sensors, um, different types of capacitance sensors. Most of these are all used. There's only a couple of new things in there. A giant bucket of encoders. I got all kind of different encoders in here. Look at this bucket of photo eyes, literally. Like, I don't even think I could give you in here to show you all the different types of photo eyes that I've got. Um, what here? We got a bunch of uh, laser optics. A lot of these are all used parts, but still usable. Um, oh, reed switches. Opto. What the heck does that? Oh, old I.O. That's probably flaky I.O. Stuff that doesn't have a home. Let's see if we can peek in there. And a bunch of random stuff. Uh, fiber optic eyes. I got a bunch of good, cool fiber optic stuff right here. These are expensive. Um, all most of them are all well, actually all of them are used. They're probably into anything that's new in there. Um, so that's that shelf. So yeah, that's you can see what I got on just this one shelf. I mean, that's ridiculous. And just so you know, all of the construction wood here, all of these shelves, I actually uh, took all the wood out of a uh, crate. One crate built all these shelves. I did have to buy the plywood, but look how much weight I got on there. <laughs> it's not good. It's bowing pretty bad. Eventually it might break, but hey, whatever. Alright, so moving on to the back area. Okay, it's going to be a little bit harder to see back here. I got a bunch of uh, just VCRs and just stuff back there. Just things, man. So much stuff. This uh, came out of a big... Uh, uh, machine this is a pretty sweet little deal actually I've been hanging on to this for something important some uh, different rails down here and bits and pieces and parts here's a, uh, a photon detector or an ion detector radiation detector it's pretty cool I'll take that apart sometime and show you uh, that's a head off of the uh, camera jig that all this other stuff all this equipment that you see right here including those things back yonder um, all came off of one machine. This thing too. Here's my big TVs. I got a bunch of big TVs back there that are parts, pieces and parts. There's another one I couldn't get back there. Um, so the second shelf up here, really this is all used electronics. Just buckets and buckets and buckets of used electronics. This whole thing right here is full of electronics. 
a lot of this is my uh, logic board controllers. This is just a rack, but it just happens to have all my my, my logic my logic boards and stuff. Um, modems. Took a whole bunch of modems apart, so I separated them because they all got the same similar parts on them. Random circuit boards. I mean, I'm telling you, look look how much just recycled electronics like I had a hard and I, they're overflowing all the stuff under here is just overflowing I don't have a place for it it's, I kind of got out of organizing there towards the end more parts um, I got a bunch of speakers back in this corner packed in there bells small speakers uh, this is probably one of my favorite audio piece of audio equipment that I don't even use right now but it's Die Panasonic, love it. I got that at the yard sale for 20 bucks. The lady who sold it to me goes, my husband's not gonna be happy I sold this. And I'm like, see ya. Oh, this is my box of, uh, of uh, Rubik's Cubes. I don't have them all in there right now. Oh, I gotta show you these staplers sometime. I was wondering where that one went. Now I know. Uh, yeah, don't ask me exactly why. If you ever seen the dice stacking video, you'll know why I have a box of dice. And I got these on eBay for cheap, and they're all glued together. <laughs> Somebody had made a castle out of expensive actual dice. And they're like, look at there, all the same serial number. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Oh, I lost my lid. No, well, I'll find it later. Ah! box of steer amps out of fork trucks. Them is what I built my power supply out of. Scanners, optical laser scanners. I got a whole bunch of optical laser scanners I took apart. Um, this is all um, heat sinks. Let's see if we can poke our eyes in there. Um, electrical outlets and parts and pieces and switches and stuff. This is another box of just nothing but uh, heat sinks. There are so many heat sinks in here. Heat sinks, heat sinks, heat sinks, and here's my bookshelf. Yes, this is my bookshelf. And here's probably my favorite book right here. Webster's Dictionary. That is an old book. I don't even know what date, what year that is. But that's a fun Webster's Dictionary right there. International edition, even. Um, anyway, some just very basic stuff up here. So really, that's that's really that shelf. Um, this is a hard drive, big old hard drive. I took apart. <laughs> People have seen those before. Um, some of the stuff I haven't had time to put away. These are just more, more cycled parts and optics and coils and stuff from work that I took out of the dumpster. Oh, I collect hard drives, by the way. Um, and I got a lot of hard drives. You guys are going to see how many hard drives I actually have. It's ridiculous. I got a, a light below here for some interesting experiment. I've had that for a while. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. A lot of this is my stuff I've had from when I was a kid kid. Um, some of this stuff, like for instance, class of 99 is when I graduated high school. Um, I don't know. There's so much stuff back here, some random bits and pieces. I do have a couple of model planes that theoretically aren't mine. But I've been I've had them forever and I'm the only one that ever really flew them. Tube and pipe and a few things and this and that. Miscellaneous items. Um, a lot of, like I said, a lot of that stuff's from a long time ago. It's my plexiglass tube from my hopper. That's actually the other half. I did go to school once and I still have most of my books from college. Some from high school. That's where the rest of my books are. A um, couple different motors. Those are from uh, treadmills. Those are awesome motors. Two and a, two and a half horsepower. Though. Relays. I need to probably throw them away. These are old, old, old. I do have a bunch of fireworks here um, that I've been collecting. I've had these for a very long time. And as long as I keep them dry, they'll last. Oh yeah, Black Cats, the originals. Five ninety nine probably got them on sale. Uh, more fireworks. I actually used to have, if you've never seen my fireworks display, it's pretty cool. I posted them online. Uh, here's a, a car track that, these are, I told you guys I had those Hot Wheels and they had those super capacitors in them. That one I used for the little demo. These are those cars. This is the track. So you can see, oh, that one's totally enclosed. 
Anyway, that's an awesome toy. That was just an awesome toy. I got it out for the kids to play with for a while. Uh, let's see, what else do I got up here? I got a bone that I found a long time ago when I was, like, digging in the creek. Why I kept this, I cannot answer that. But I, uh, I still have it. I've had this for probably 15 years. <laughs> oh, man, I need to figure out where to put some of this stuff. Uh, oh, the old Sega Game Gear. That one doesn't work. Two old cameras, they don't work. It's a parental lens that I used to try to make a big screen TV out of. I got a bunch of glass here. Most of this is tempered, but it's good for certain projects. Uh, this is some of the stuff from when I was a kid, man. I still got a few bits and pieces. Try to get rid of most of it. Oh, here's a spark gap. Probably never seen this. I built this a long time ago. This is a spark gap for a Tesla coil. I told you guys a long time ago I've been collecting parts for a Tesla coil. I've been building one piece at a time. Well, there literally are enough pieces around here to probably finish it now. Just gotta find them all. Oh, a few things in here. I think that's full of books. Okay, so we got around that side. Now, what do you guys think all this stuff is? Let me see if I can find it. There we go. I am a proud owner of a city car. Or a commuter car. This one's actually a commuter car. Uh, first electric production car ever made in America. It's out at my dad's house. I've been restoring it for probably almost 18 years now. I've had it since I could drive. It's been it's been a long time, and hopefully I can get that thing finished eventually. That's what all these parts are, though. It's just electric car parts. Um, these are all electric car parts. You can see, I got a lot of stuff cleaned up and almost done. Then I need to paint a lot of this stuff, and I just I never got to finish it. Um, RC stuff, RC stuff. RC stuff, there's a projector in that box that I got, and they were going to get rid of that thing. Um, this is all my overflow electronics, stuff I need to figure out where to put. Look at these power supplies, server power supplies. Check out the amperage on these things. 12 volts, 32 amps, just for that little brick right there. That is awesome. Nice power supplies. I got four of them for my upcoming 3D printer projects, if I ever get there. Um, that's stuff I've had for a while, paperwork and things. Some stainless steel tubes of all sizes when I started just beginning working on hydrogen stuff. These are some of the original test pieces I bought for that project. Uh, there's uh, Battery Phil's plane, I cleaned it up. He sent it to me, I need to work on it. Got some plexiglass sheets that Blaine sent me. I do have a couple of gauges and stuff for the different projects. Um, they're not all in there. Some of them are all out there and being used. Um, I do actually have a lot of connects. And the box of connects is back there. And there's another box right there. Um, I already showed you all this stuff. So really, that's that whole aisle. Okay, that's one aisle worth of things I've collected. Now, we have a whole nother aisle, but I think this one's going to go faster, because there's not as much stuff over here. Oh, maybe I lied. Oh, yeah. I have so much stuff. I'm going to start in the back, because it'll go quick. This is my random, I don't know what to do with bench. There's my light bulbs I was looking for. I got a bunch of transformers back here. Transformers. This is my pile of transformers. I don't know what to do with half this stuff. More batteries, and my Bendini charger, and... Uh, I got a bunch of random parts hanging that I've printed. <laughs> um, my blowgun. I love this thing. I'm actually like extremely accurate with this thing. Maybe we'll give that a shot later. Um, this empty box I need to throw away. I thought it looked cool, but I think I'm going to throw it away. Uh, these are a couple of industrial keyboards that have mouses built into them. Um, uh, some of these probably still work, but that might be PS2. And that's a USB. Some of these are flaky. I need to go in the trash. Like that one feels like it's busted. But uh, stainless and aluminum is what I got it for. Fire pintles, recycled plastic for the extruder when I get it done. Filament maker. I have a random bowling ball with no holes in it. I don't really know why I have that. Um, there's an old uh, back pump air compressor sitting there that I don't know if it works. I don't remember. Something I've had for a very long time that I haven't messed with. Got this old scooter. It, uh, Goodwill for like five bucks or something a long time ago. Still have it. This is my other pile of 
printer uh, recycle big big items that have good parts and haven't had time to take everything apart. Uh, I don't know what's in some of these boxes. I don't remember. Trash. Oh, silverware. Oh yeah. Check these out. I made I made a whole set of these in college. Cool, huh? RWG. I made a whole there's a whole set of those in there. So light dims down. Yeah, anyway. Put that one back without breaking it. Ooh. Alright, so I'm not going to open all these boxes, but earbuds, video cables, audio cables, high voltage wire, PC stuff, PC stuff, USB, fiber optics, I got a bunch of fiber optics cables, um, old stuff, connectors, uh, this is just a literally a box of connectors that I pick through when I need connectors for stuff, um, I just keep them all, Cat5, coaxial cable, uh, RGA or something. Uh, power cords. Try to get rid of most of my power cords. Just keep what I need. This is my project wires. Stuff that I use for projects. Um, oh, this is my bag of uh, polypropylene for my extruder. I was going to try polypropylene. I got some of that for testing. Uh, this is another box of just cables that I use for projects. This is my random box. <laughs> this is my random box of floppy disks. Yes. Not often. A whole bunch of them. Some of them are games and stuff. Christmas tree. Um, okay, so a lot of you guys may or may not know this, but I pick up almost every monitor I can find and try to fix them. And a lot of them work just fine. I think that one's good. This is a touch panel. I got a bunch of touch panels that are either working or broke. See, that one's got a cracked screen on it but I can use it for parts. Big Forenzo lens. Um, so I told you the monitors I collect and I try to fix them. There's there's just some of the the monitors that I have and then like I said those big TVs. There's a plasma TV down there that has a funny box that connects to it and you can't get the box anymore and it runs the entire TV. It's kind of really dumb but that whole thing turns on and goes through colors. You can put it underneath a dance floor for fun. It's about all it's good for. Heating up the house. More monitors. I told you guys I collect those monitors. These touch screen, touch screen, touch screen, touch screen, touch screen, touch screen, computer touch screen. And like I said, I try to repair them. I think these two, um, those might not be touch screen. Uh, yeah. Some electronic equipment. Here's my original power supply I built. Um, static tester from Blaine. Um, some old equipment. These two I got at an auction for like five bucks or something a long time ago. Pretty neat. One of these has a pretty cool uh, frequency generator. I think it's this one. It creates audio signals. It's kind of cool. For testing TVs, I think. Um, we'll start up high. So, I got keyboards of all different types. This is probably one of my favorite ones I found in the trash, but it's trash. It's a Logitech. It's only solar powered. It's super thin. It's USB. It's pretty cool. Uh, put that one back. Um, power supplies for laptops. Power supplies for laptops. Laptop, laptop, laptop. Laptop parts. Keyboards, mouse. Laptop, 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 laptop. If you need one, let me know. Seriously, because well, they, they work, but they need parts. Not really worth it. I got some APs, some routers, if anybody needs one. They're old school, but they work. Um, they're very slow though. They're not really designed for good data transfer. They're designed for scanners and stuff. Um, PC fans. This is my box of PC fans. Let's see if we can look in here without dumping it. Yeah. I got a bunch. PC fans. Plastic building parts. This is my collection of plastic and, uh, UHMW and just random building parts. Uh, aluminum building parts. Let's see if we can slide that out. That's a heavy one. A bunch of aluminum pieces and parts. And just stuff. Lots of stuff. Uh, uh, uh. Um, okay, now I told you I collect hard drives. Well, I do collect hard drives. I love hard drives. Hard drives, 
hard drives, hard drives, hard drives, hard drives, hard drives. And somewhere else there's some more hard drives. Like literally behind those there's more hard drives. Those boxes are so heavy. Um, so I got the EPG set in here. Um, just because I don't have a good location for it. So it sits here so it's not out in the garage. What is in these? Oh, those are switch boxes. Another touch panel. <laughs> these are switch boxes on the old school. Uh, I'm going to be a pull one out. Old school switch boxes. This is a box of random air fitting air hose and just just all sorts of different stuff in here different valves and things and stuff and pipe and I need to organize this this was just my catch all for piping parts um, I do have a bunch of these yayak antennas if anybody needs one these are like a hundred bucks a pop on eBay if I sold them and eventually I may but these are actually good antennas um, I say I say that if anybody needs one let me know but at the same time it's very difficult for me to get stuff out to people but uh, I don't know huh, I have a lot of stuff different different antennas it's a different style antenna it's still the same there's a short short small antenna uh, box of antennas uh, UPS's battery backups um, I I've, I've been I took a whole bunch more apart. These are the ones I have left in case I need them still. Uh, this is just plastic filament. Some of my rolls that I you've been using before I before I get mine done. Filament extruder. Um, okay, now this is there's a lot of stuff going on on this shelf, so we try to make it quick. Um, this is just a bunch of different random electronic parts. I've got a very old school oscilloscope back here that still works, but needs I don't know. It's not really. It's okay single channel old old school um, a box of resistors resistors capacitors LEDs just electronics this is my bench of electronic parts most of them new or used or half new most of the stuff's new just things I've collected or people have sent me over the years Blaine sent me quite a lot of different stuff um, awesome dude also I got some VCRs down there this is an actual PLC, like one of the very first P Allen Bradley PLCs. Let me get a better view on this thing. Original in its box. Slick 105 expansion unit. It's pretty cool. The Slick 105. Oh, everything else down here is hard drives. Literally. So many hard drives. Whoops. What was that? Oh, that's that's another hard drive. Let me see if I can get that out of here. Ah, check out this hard drive. This thing still works. <laughs> uh, we'll take that apart someday. It's got some awesome magnets in it. So yeah, electronics. Some of my very old computers. This is actually a pretty sweet... Um, gateway computer designed for the home audio entertainment type thing it's really slow now but it's pretty cool at the time this is a computer I built in college used it for a long time but it's got a grounding problem so I, I do have a lot of stuff on this this bench um, these are just switches so many different switches stuff I've taken out of so many things um, terminal blocks I think in this box and circuit breakers um, LCDs, so many LCDs, here's my uh, recycled plastic and printer parts and printer things and stuff, a bunch of my original CDs and things and stuff I've collected, um, yeah, just things and stuff. I didn't know I could make a video this long of just stuff, this is insane. Relays, this is my, my box of, oh we can't get in there. A box of relays. I have just so many different relays I've collected. PC cards and RAM and things and stuff. Uh, another box of connectors. Different styles and types and stuff. Springs. Yeah, I, I have a box of springs, believe it or not. Um, shafts and the like. See? So this is all my shafts that you see laying everywhere that I didn't put away yet. This is just stuff I got in a box. Uh, this one must be backwards. Oh, these are connectors. These are actually like new connectors. 
Uh, carbon brushes. I only have a couple of these carbon brushes. Why, you may ask? Because we change them out at work, and they do it no matter what, even though they're still good. And I bring them home, and I'm going to use them for uh, making magna gas or something like that. Uh, coils. Again, another box of actual, like, prefab coils. Um, different types. That box stinks. Bearings and the like. I got... I got lots of different things in that little box. Uh, resistors, big ones. Optical glass and lenses and all types of sort of things and stuff. Gears and belts and pulleys. Uh, high voltage caps, ACDC, all. Oh, I got a bunch of different capacitors in there. Oh, there's another box of antennas of sorts and kinds. So That's the big antenna box, and this is the small antenna box. Um, I have a really big capacitor. Um, high voltage capacitor in here that Blaine sent me and I will show you guys this another time it's pretty cool it's awesome actually Blaine sent that to me marbles my mom made this my dad built the box and my mom my mom uh, 84 I was born in 85 it's one year older than me my mom actually painted this and my dad probably built the box maybe yeah those are my original my original ball bearings and steelies and marbles. Holy cow, guys. I just have so much stuff. I think, I think really that's, I mean, that's the gist of it. That took 40 minutes. I cannot believe that that took 40 minutes. Those of you who actually sat through here, look, my little, my micro gyrosphere is actually almost done. Look how thin that is. I have no idea if that's actually gonna hold up, but I thought I'd try to print it that thin anyway. It's almost done. 98 percent. Uh, anyway, there you guys go. Um, this is just the stuff I have in my basement. And yeah, I have to move. So you can imagine the kind of like, oh gee whiz, like that I got going on right now. Um, luckily I or did organize most of it. It's pretty good. I can just tape those shut. Be done with it. But I just have so much stuff. It's ridiculous. Now we're going to go out in the garage, and we're going to see what's in the garage. Um, I think that's going to be a shorter trip, because I'm I'm burned out on this 40 minutes worth of showing you guys what I got in my basement. <laughs> I have about a thousand square foot of my things that I use for research. So now you guys can kind of see why I can build anything from nothing, because I have so much of nothing to build from. I've collected so many things over the years that, like, I just literally have whatever I need at my fingertips. Um, but now I have to move it all, and I don't really have a good place for it, so this could be difficult. I'm going to have to pick and choose. Most of it I'm going to keep, but i got to pick and choose some of the bigger, bulky items. I, I really don't know what to do with some of this stuff. Um, so let's go out in the garage and do a very quick tour. It's kind of trashed out there. I'm trying to get stuff organized out there. And, uh, yeah, this is actually my original stuffed animal that I used to carry around, and it's still got the tag on it, because it's got my name on it. Yeah. I don't think we have a date on that thing. That thing's older than snot. <laughs> I used to carry that around all the time as a kid. That was my stuffed animal. Why I still have it, do not ask me. All right. I'm going to play with that. Cool. Ooh, I'm going to let that cool down before I try to peel that off. Alright, boys and girls. I guess I'll just, just to not bore you guys to death, I'm just going to go out there right now. I'm going to walk around the garage and show you what I've got. It should be pretty simple. Because I can't really see anything in there anyway. So let's go. <laughs> well, in case you're wondering, it's a bit too small. Uh, it's so close together I can't hardly get the things apart. And I broke one. Ah, just thought I'd show you that. Let's go to the garage. Ah! Ah, it's kind of cold out here. Alright, I'm going to give you guys the quick tour of the outside lab and try to show you what I've got because, well, I've got poor lighting out here and I have so much stuff out here right now, it's very hard to see everything I've got. So, uh, very, very quick tour. Um, we'll start back here. Um... This is recyclable. This is going to the recycle yard. I don't know if I can move much of this. 
Uh, you can see I've got uh, <laughs> there's a gearbox down there. There's other parts and pieces and capacitors and uh, the motors and stuff and things and wires and <laughs> so much stuff. Uh, those all need to go somewhere else. Some shingles for our regular roof. We got uh, more audio equipment and those monitors I keep telling you about. Um, some generator parts and pieces. We got a shelf of 8020, which I used to have a whole bunch more and I should have kept it. Instead, I brought it to the scrapyard because I didn't realize what I had. That was dumb of me. Um, a bunch of different transformers and stuff and wire and all of the stuff down here is for the milling machine. Um, some steel bars I got there. I got a whole bunch of random stuff back here. A big piece of glass and some old pieces of uh, um, acrylic and just random things back there for sure. Uh, Pex pipe. I was going to fix the p plumbing in my house and I never got to it yet. And if I move, I'm not going to worry about it, to be honest. It works. It just needs to be updated. The electric motorcycle. Some more recyclables. Um, obviously, the milling machine. Um, I'm going to have to move this again. That's going to be great. I don't know where it's going to go just yet. Oh, Move my ladder. I need to put it away. Um, i got two fans back there, which are nice to have. Um, just old ones, but they run. There's an old generator. That's not my generator. I'm just storing it, but uh, if I needed to use it, we tried to get it to get it running. It wouldn't run, so I need to give that back. Uh, a couple project pieces and parts. I have a bunch of air cylinders that are all used. I've been collecting. Most of them are. Well, I bet. I bet a quarter of them are good, and the other ones need repaired, but they're still worth keeping. Repair kits are expensive for some of them. Um, I did get a table saw. My dad bought me a table saw, which is so nice of him, uh, like last Christmas. And I can get it out of there fairly easy. I, just, I got a lot of stuff in here right now. Um, this shelf back here is probably one of the most, like, interesting shelves. Let me... There we go. Recycled steel and pieces. There's the other half of the variac I need to put back together. Some more batteries. There's a heater heater back there I was going to hook up. The old microwave. Um, you can see there's a DC motor back there. And I got a couple of these servo motors. The encoders are usually bad on these things. But if you want them for generators, they work. Some old slide bearings and bearings. and just I just got so much stuff, man. There's just so much stuff up there. Some big coils of wire up there that are used for random things. Here's my stack of good wire that I can use. Big giant transformers down there. Um, old welders. Scrap steel and good pieces back there. More wire. I got a couple of car jacks when I was a long time ago for my dad. And a jack. A long time ago. Um, I don't know. Oh, I guess that's good enough with the light. There's a uh, another TV that's not repairable. There, I do have a safe down here from my stepdad. Uh, not my stepdad, my dad-in-law, <laughs> I guess. Um, I do have a bunch of old end mills that they tossed out at work. Um, a lot of them are pretty dull, but I got that end mill sharpener so I can sharpen them. Sweet! Old computers, stuff, speakers I built out of an old cabinet a long time ago. Uh, just stuff I don't have room for. Um, I do have a, that big giant battery backup. I never got it working back there. Outside lab PC for this monitor that I got on the side of the road. For free! Uh, just a bunch of stuff I need to organize. Right here. Said I got my, my gases down there. Battery charger and mixer. And there's another battery charger that I think that one works. Or maybe not. I don't remember. Um, I do have a bunch of random stuff. Like in his cabinet, stuff I need to organize, things I haven't had a place for. This is my popper cabinet, so has all my popper equipment in it. Um, this is just a cabinet full of wire and these old school cameras and I don't know. I just have so much stuff. A lot of this stuff out here is just gonna have to disappear. I have to just do something with it. This cabinet actually has good power supplies and stuff in it. High voltage power supplies, old cabinets that didn't make it on the wall. 
Um, lamp, <laughs> you guys love my crooked, uh, <laughs> you guys love my crooked, uh, shades there, don't you? I gotta take that down. Uh, my popper shelf here is all my popper equipment. I will get back into that. Um, that's just time of a, time is just crazy, guys. Lots of stuff happening. Um, that air compressor, battery charger, that old air conditioner I fixed. Awesome. Uh, what else do I got? Variac. High voltage capacitors, big old giant 3 kVA transformers, some more capacitors. Oh, they're flying over to get me. Hear them? I hear them. I don't know what kind that is. Uh, hydrogen and uh, argon for engine testing. Do have my generator sitting up here. I was doing some tests with that uh, controller. I got a bunch of stuff down here. I just have so much stuff, guys. It's ridiculous. Um, I do have a old, uh, that's an actual motor controller out of an old uh, um, uh, truck vehicle, work vehicle thing. Might be like 200 amp controller. I, I think all that stuff still works. Actually, I'm fairly certain it does. Um, I do have a giant battery charger that's right there. 48 volt, I forgot how many amps. Maybe 35, 40 amps. Oh, come on, focus it. There we go. I don't know if that works or what voltage it is, but it's pretty sweet. One of my buddies gave it to me. Got a bunch of DC motors down here and and pump motors and stuff. Shoes I need to throw away probably. Now at work they throw away a lot of bearings and stuff, and I th these are used bearings, but most of them are okay. A bucket of fittings and a lot of these bearings and pulleys and shivs, stuff that's old that they take off, but I keep it. And you'd be amazed at what some of these bearings they throw away. You can see how bad like this one is. I mean, this one's been chewed up, but the bearing itself is actually it's free. So for you know for projects, um, you know it works. Let me set this down. This box is soft. Let me see what's in this one. Oh, there ain't much in that one. Well, anyway, let's set this one down here because I know I got a oh, I got a bucket of bearings. And I think you'll like it. These two buckets are full of nothing but bearings. Like I said, some of them are junk, but I, I cleaned them up. They were filthy dirty. I need to have grease put in them, but... Anyway, so these buckets are full of bearings and stuff that are old used, but well worth keeping for projects like I use at 200 bucks a pop or something, you know? Old piece of belting they threw away at work. I might end up throwing that one away, I don't know. It's two old air conditioners. They, I think they work, but not very well. This thing quit working, right? Now I have to dump it out and take it apart. I fixed the fan in it, but it quit working. Stuff I gotta clean up. <laughs> this is terrible. Battery backups uh, again. Oh yeah, I do have. I didn't show you what I have on my shelf back there. I'll show you real quick. Just stuff, guys. There's so much stuff. Um, these are all monitors that I repaired. A lot of you guys probably wonder where I get these monitors from. I repair these monitors. So these are all fixed, um, probably all 22 inch or so, um, pretty high resolution. That one's actually a fantastic monitor that actually worked when I found it. Old computer, uh, freebie. Again, all the computers are pretty much freebies. There's my battery backup back there, running happily. I need to unplug some of the stuff when I'm not using it, but I just got so much stuff, guys. So much stuff to work on and so many things to do, and I just... I have a lot of stuff. These are just empty boxes from when I start to pack. Still got to pick up my, my plastic mess. Old uh, Zalzal I threw away at work. Actually, I think I got that one working, but I don't have any batteries for it. Um, more plexiglass scrap, aluminum pieces, parts, things, junk. Anyway, I'm literally, I ran, I ran you guys an hour almost on just what I have. That's crazy. Um, so yeah, sorry for keeping you guys so long, but thanks for hanging out with me, and I will keep you guys updated. I have not had time to do anything, really, literally. I just, uh, I did work on that generator here for a little bit, but unfortunately, I got, I just, I got a lot of stuff going on in the background of life right now, so I'm, I'm focusing on life, and, uh, the future holds good, awesome, interesting things, but for now, I must focus on what I'm doing in life, and projects set aside for an interesting adventure coming up, I hope. Oh, I didn't show you the loft. What do I got up here? I got a bunch of stuff. I got a surprise project up there I can't show you yet. 
I'll make another video of that shortly. All right, peace and love to you guys, and I'll talk to you soon. Uh, leave me a comment and let me know what you think. Uh, yeah, and let me know what you think I should bring in the scrapyard because I'm gonna bring a lot of stuff to the scrapyard. <laughs> uh, I don't have I don't have a choice. All right, peace and love to you guys. Have a good day. I'll see you later.